Hi everyone, Falcon Uruguay here. Uh, gonna go ahead and do a, another 2014 MRE review. And today's menu is menu number two, beef shredded in barbecue sauce. Again, this is a 2014 MRE. And as in my previous video, these are not date stamped anywhere front or back, either imprinted or um, ink printed on them. So let's go ahead and get in it. And we'll go ahead and open our peelable seal. There we go. Here's our, here's our contents. Let's get these out. Yeah. Inside we have tortillas, and these have a date code on them, 324th day of 2013. We have pretzels, and these were packaged on the third day of 2014. We have Dry roasted salted peanuts, packaged on the 340th day of 2013. We have an accessory pack. We have cheese spread with jalapenos. And let's see if we can get a Good view of the date code here. Hmm. Date code's a little uncommon here. It's not a four digit date code, at least it doesn't appear to be. Oh, it is. It was packaged on the 308th day of 2013. I don't know if you can see that that eight is very small. All right. Tropical punch flavored. Uh, beverage base powder. We have our hot beverage bag, MRE spoon. We have black beans in sauce. As you can see here, packaged on the second day of 2014. And here's the information card for it. Let me get that there so you guys can pause and look at the ingredients we have our flameless ration heater and our entree our shredded beef in barbecue sauce and you can see there the list of ingredients and nutritional information now the funny part is notice that this is a Sopaco made item Yet, this is from a Warnick Company MRE. So, here's our entree, our shredded beef and barbecue sauce, and this was packaged on the 14th day of 2014. So, let's go ahead and we'll open up our accessory packet. Let's take a look inside. Let's empty the contents here. We have our toilet tissue, we have our salt, moist towelette, we have our creamer, hmm, that's interesting, Splenda, no sugar apparently, so we have our Splenda, we have our Coffee Instant Type 3, and made by Transpackers Services. We have a packet of barbecue sauce. And we have our regular chewing gum. So, let's go ahead and get started on heating everything up here. Now, we're going to do a little differently today. Let's grab our entrees here are 
sleeve and our hot beverage bag. So we're gonna do it all in one shot and see how this works out. So let's go ahead and we will get our coffee going here. So we'll open up our open up our beverage bag and we'll put our coffee inside. And we will go ahead and get our our Splenda in there, which we'll see how this works. I'm not a big fan of the artificial sweeteners, but I'm sure due to the caloric content of this meal, they had to include the artificial sweeteners, so to keep the calories at a certain limit. And we're gonna do our creamer. shallow there so let's get that opened up and we'll get that placed in our hot beverage bag all right so we got that now we will add our we'll add our six ounces of water needs to be. Let's get all the air out. And we'll give this a good we'll give that a good shake. Get that fully incorporated. Alright. Let's place, place that there. We'll open up our Flintless ration heater. Aha. Uh -huh. And we got it open, amazingly. It's, uh, we'll place our entree. Let's get our entree in there. cooperating and getting in the bag, so, all right. Get that pad down. All right, let's go ahead and get our water in there. All right, get that in there. We'll go ahead and make sure that gets that gets good and wet. And then what we'll do is we'll place our side on this side here. And then we shall try to place our hot, our coffee. In the front here and get that crammed in there there we go and we'll get that and you can hear that our ration heater is going off so we'll set that off to the side and we shall go ahead and proceed with getting all of the rest of our goodies set up here. Our tray. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and do our 
dry roasted and salted peanuts. Yeah, we got a good seal on that. Let's place these. Right there. And as you can see, just your traditional salted dry roasted peanuts. Next we'll do our we'll do our pretzels here. And we shall place these. We'll take our oxygen absorber out oops and then we're going to go ahead and get those out and as you can see these are pretzel rods salted of course so we have our cheese spread with jalapenos and that would go with our tortillas. Now let's uh, go ahead and open our package of tortillas and get these out. Here's our little oxygen absorber. Throw that back in there. Get that in there and let's see if we can open these up without them tearing. And amazingly it looks like we can go ahead and uh-huh. They're still pretty fresh since they're 2014, so they're not, they didn't tear on us. We'll place that there for the time being. Get that out of the way. And now we'll go ahead and prepare our, our beverage. So let's get a, ourselves a cup here. And we'll crack it open. Here's what it looks like. It's a pretty good neon pink color so far. And we'll extract our MRE spoon. And we will go ahead and what we'll do is we'll add a tiny bit of water just to get this started and uh, try to get it rehydrated and dissolved before we add more water so we don't get any any clumping and that seems like it's pretty good and we'll add our re remainder of the water stirred there and we shall place that right over here Put our spoon down now we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and knead up the uh, cheese spread here with the jalapenos Just like last time, I'm going to cheat a little bit and go ahead and flip the corner on this to make it a little easier. And we're going to go ahead and we'll grab our tortilla. And we will place our some of our cheese on there. We'll place that right there. And here's our wonderful bright yellow processed cheese. Let's uh, place that over here with the 
other tortilla. And uh, we have our barbecue sauce at the ready here for the for the shredded beef in case we want some extra. Let's um, go ahead and try some of this stuff here. Let's try the uh, let's try the peanuts. As you can see here, here's our dry roasted salted peanuts. And exactly what you would expect. Dry roasted salted peanuts. Very tasty. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Let me get a little sip of this. Oh yeah, that's again, very similar to, um, oh, I apologize for that. That's our alarm system here, letting me know someone's leaving the office. Uh, very reminiscent of um, Hawaiian Punch, in my opinion. So, we'll go ahead and uh, let's see how this is coming along here. If we've got heat going on here. And, uh, Hmm. Not very, not very hot, so let's give that a couple more minutes here, and uh, we'll go ahead and let's try our pretzels here. Hmm. Very traditional salted pretzel rods. You can go ahead and we'll go ahead and try this and get a couple here. Let's add a line of cheese on there just like those little snack packs that we all used to enjoy as, a, as kids. So let's give that a shot. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> And, um, yeah, not much else on that one. Just, um, taste the cheese and goes really well with the, with the, uh, the pretzels. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and we'll, um, we'll pause this and, uh, we'll wait for our entree to get hot. All right, everyone, we're back. And uh, given the entree here, about 10 minutes to warm up, and let's uh, let's see how it comes out here. Let's uh, try our hot beverage first. And, well, it's about as room temperature as you're going to get it. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll pour this out into a cup here. Not much I can do about that. These... Uh, You'd figure that these 2014 flameless ration heaters would go off a little better, but they seem to just want to fizzle out. They start off well, and they just tend to fizzle out, so we'll put that off to the side, and uh, let's get our, our side here. Now, these are black beans and sauce, and mm, these actually seem to have some little decent temperature to them so let's open these up and check it out here and here are our black beans and let's uh, get this out here on our tray Uh, 
set that over here for the time being. And uh, we'll go ahead and check out our black beans here. And here's our black beans and some sort of a tomato based sauce. Kind of reminiscent of the chili from uh, menu number one, but with black beans instead of your more traditional kidney beans. And uh, here's our entree. And uh, let's get that out of the package here. Uh, this actually seems to have heated up for the most part, but we'll see here. Let's crack this open and give it a shot here if it wants to cooperate. There we go. These have, the, of course, the tear notches on the long side to make it easier to eat the entree. And here's our, our shredded beef. Let's get that out on the uh, on the tray here. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, not wanting to cooperate here. So let's grab our spoon and kind of assist our entree in leaving the pouch. Right. Let's uh, set that over here. And here we go. Here's a nice little nice little chunk of the shredded beef here. So let's uh give that a try. Mmm. Mm, very good. Mm. Very tasty. It's a nice barbecue sauce. Let me grab a napkin here. And, mm. It's a very mild barbecue sauce. Um, as for the beef, it's very tender. It's not... It's got a good texture to it. It still retains its... You know texture and bite to it and uh what's nice is the barbecue sauce isn't overpowering like you do get in a lot of commercially available barbecue beef where the the barbecue sauce is just cloyingly sweet and just too overdone with the corn syrup and the brown sugar and everything where you all you're tasting is sweet sauce and you can't taste the beef and this you can actually taste the beef and it's uh, it tastes quite it's quite tasty. So let's give our black beans a shot here and see what these taste like on their own. Mm hmm. Mm. Very tasty. Um, the sauce is got some cumin in it and. Um, some other there's a little tomato in there there might be some there might be some green pepper in there it's kind of hard to tell but um very reminiscent of a um very chili-esque type flavor but with the black beans and it's quite tasty the the beans have a nice tooth to them they're not um they're not overly mushy but they're not rock hard either you know they've got they're like just slightly past what you would consider al dente so uh overall not bad and uh let's do some of the beans and some of the beef together and we'll get that in there like so there you go let's give that a shot mm. 
Mm, very nice. The, uh, the sauce from the beans tends to um, soften a lot of the barbecue flavor uh, that you get from the barbecue sauce. It um, incorporates really well. And uh, it's an interesting mix. It actually has a really very, it's a good taste to it. Now, let's uh, add a little extra barbecue sauce to this. And since we've got it, we'll see if this is the same type of barbecue sauce or if this is that more traditional super sweet and you can see the coloring here this is probably going to be the more super sweet one as the first ingredient on the list is corn syrup so this is what you would you know consider a more traditional barbecue sauce that you would get either like a craft or casey masterpiece or something along those lines that you would find in a supermarket so let's give that a shot mm. oh yeah you get the barbecue flavor but again it's that that sticky sweet barbecue flavor that you would expect that you would normally find you know in a you would put on chicken or you know, pork or whatever, you know, on, on a on a grill on the 4th of July. So let's wash this down with a little more of this punch. Mm. And again, that's very reminiscent of Hawaiian punch. Let's, uh, let's try our tortilla here. Let's uh, go ahead and take a bite out of that with the cheese. Mm. And uh, mm. yeah, very tasty. Nice, nice little kick with the jalapenos for the cheese spread. Worked really well. The tortilla is nice and soft and works really well. Let's uh, make ourselves a little. <laughs> barbecue taco here so we'll add a little bit of the the shredded beef and we'll do some of the beans there we go and what the heck we'll add a little bit of the cheese on there just to Give it something a little extra there, a little extra spice to it. And here we go. Let's give that a shot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Sorry about that. That was quite a large chunk of beef that I had to kind of chew through there, but mm, works really well. Again, the flavor of the the flavor of the beans and the sauce help. I, I wouldn't say neutralize, but kind of level out some of the barbecue flavor. And then with the jalapeno cheese, gives it a nice little extra kick to it. Let's give this another another bite here. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that definitely works. Yeah, that would definitely fill you up in the field and pretty much stick to your ribs mm. yeah that works really well hmm. 
yeah that's very tasty and again let's uh, munch on some of these uh, salted peanuts here mmm very tasty and uh, some more of these pretzels hmm yeah that works pretty well so all that's left really is our gum So let's go ahead and whoop, almost lost that one. <laughs> let's go ahead and it's our traditional candy coated, probably either, I would imagine this is spearmint or some sort of either wintergreen or spearmint um, chewing gum. So let's give that a shot. Hmm. Hmm. I believe I believe that's spearmint. And it definitely tastes like a sugar free chewing gum. But freshens your breath, cleans your teeth. What more do you want? Well, now all that's left next is um Forgot all about the coffee here. Let's give that a shot. And you know, that's actually not bad. Even with the artificial sweetener, with the Splenda, that's actually pretty tasty. And uh, with the Splenda, of course, it dissolves pretty, it dissolves quickly. So, yeah, that actually works pretty well. Hmm. It's very tasty. And again, I'm not a big artificial sweetener guy. So, uh, so yeah, that's actually pretty tasty. All right. Well, everyone, that was my review of a 2014 menu number two beef with uh, shredded beef with barbecue sauce MRE. And uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And, uh, if again, thanks a big shout out to, uh, all the other MRE reviewers on YouTube, uh, gun dog, uh, Steve, 1989 and, uh, Kiwi dude, um, G Schultz and the rest, uh, again, thanks. Thanks for watching. And, uh, for more information, you know, you can always go to mreinfo.com to look at more reviews and find out more information about U.S. and international MREs. Have a great day.